How's it going, Tommy Kelly? There's always this extra pressure to uh, just, like, by five minutes before the podcast, go, oh, well, how am I opening this? What do I say? I need to say something funny, something smart, or at least have some sort of different <laughs> opening than the previous week. I should have uh, it's Paddy's week. It's Paddy's week. Top of the morning to you. Yeah. Where's me lucky charms? Where's me lucky charms? I was watching, to me, there's, there's, a, there's a thing on, on Netflix. I presume it's... Ha, 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 is on Irish Netflix as well. It's called somebody, somebody feed feed Phil, and it's fairly new. And it's this guy, um, a American, a Jewish American guy, who travels the world and uh, eats lots of food. And he has one in Ireland, and it, like he's good. He's he's he's, a, he's a kind of a funny character because the first episode you watch, you're like. Oh, is it like like, a, like an Anthony Bourdain type thing? Is it like he was yeah, 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 yeah? It's okay. like that, but like less less drinking and swearing, you know. Okay, well, there's yeah. a bit of drinking, but he's not able to drink. He drinks like two 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 glasses of wine, and he he's off his head like this. Fact, right, right, you know? right, okay. But the first episode you watch, you're like I don't like this guy, and then the second episode, you're like, I want this guy to be my cousin. <laughs> you know, he's just right. one of those people who like at first you're like eh, and then the second one you're like ah oh, he's deadly and he has all these weird grimaces when he likes food and stuff like that but he does one in Ireland and oh, it just wrecked my there's this beautiful shot of him I think it's uh, is it Greystones or Bray or something he's out on the coast and the rocks and the Atlantic or not the Atlantic Sea the Irish Sea the Irish Sea is, is splashing in against him and he's standing beside this lighthouse and he's Beautiful drone shot, and it comes into him, and he goes top of the morning to you, and oh, I'm like, Jesus "Fuck Christ. that guy!" Ah, <laughs> oh, God damn it! I hate the when they and do he, that. He, he wasn't saying it ironically or anything, or pissed. No, he says, say, "Top of the morning." Do I sound Irish? And I say, "Shut! Don't do that, man." Do you know yeah. why are you like? You know, There's like, a, in um, the Patrick Harper book, um, "The Good People," which is uh, his one of his fiction books. Um, he it goes very Irish in places. And Irish, it's, it's, yeah. yeah, it's very hard to take. And he does when he's in some of his lectures when he does, uh, like the Irish accent. It's like, ah, oh, Christ! But there's a part of me that's kind of going, well, as much as I don't like that, I have heard Irish people talking like that. You know, they're like they're, <laughs> it's it's not unheard of. And so, yeah. um, your man, it's, it's, your man, your man's jaw nearly, nearly, nearly uh, hit the floor when. Um, He's in some restaurant in Dublin. They were eating box tea. You know box tea, yeah? Mm-hmm. Potato mm-hmm. pancakes. Yeah. And um, uh, oh, th- on Slim and World, people love box tea. It's, t- it's sin free. You can eat it. <laughs> so it's, it's made, it's, but it's done in oil. You can't eat that, can you? It's uh, no. Well, I mean, you can you can fry you it. You can with bake the, it, I suppose. You can no, well, no. You can you see. You know the spray oils. They're sin free as well. You see. All oh, right, I see. Yeah. So you um, just open one of them, pour it into your chip pan, <laughs> deep fry everything. It's fine. It's, it's, all right. it's fine. There's no calories. No calories. Um, yeah, his jaw nearly hits the floor. He's like, uh, "Oh, we're gonna have bacon and cabbage," and the chef is like, "No, that's that's an American thing." He's like, "That's not Irish." No, that's not Irish. Like that's that's a Jewish, uh, Jewish and Irish American thing. It's not, right. like no no one in Ireland eats corned beef and cabbage on Paddy's Day. Sure. You know, so. Or or many other days. <laughs> yeah, any other days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Bacon and cabbage is. Uh, no, no, sorry, not bacon and cabbage. What am I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, bacon and cabbage is what you said. No, sorry, I meant um, uh, the plastic uh, corn corn beef. The oh, corn beef on Paddy's Day. Corn no one beef. Corn beef. Corn yeah. fucking beef. The Irish yeah. Americans eat on Paddy's Day. Corn beef yeah. and spuds. Yeah. Drink. I, I remember when kids just talking about the bacon and cabbage we, we would have had it and stuff years ago that like is that still a thing people eat is it oh yeah yeah bacon yeah, yeah. every time I go home my mum makes it for me oh is it yeah see because yeah. I haven't I've, I haven't eaten meat in 30 years so I don't know <laughs> Jesus really 30 years that's probably more it's like hold on what age am I Jesus it's more I'm 43 and I was no hold on you do maths I'm 43 and I stopped when I was <laughs> 15 do maths 15 <laughs> No, I'm saying you're good at you do the maths. Um, so I don't know, fifty, seventy years, something like that. <laughs> Whatever it is. Jesus, if I go more than three days without meat, I feel I feel like oh look at me, I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, so it's, mm. it's uh, yeah, so it's twenty eight, twenty eight years. That yeah, that's about. Be right, the so. fuck. Mm. That's an awful long time. Oh well, that's not true. I've mistakenly had it once or twice over over the thing. Yeah, that's, yeah, we all. Yeah. That's that's about you know. Yeah, uh, but, so. Um, you're doing your sale, aren't you? Paddy's Day sale. Yeah. Get your plug in early, man. Get your plug in early. Go on. Buy it. Well, uh, everyone the, buy the 40 sales. Yeah, it's twenty percent off. It's uh, there's a what? I, it's servants, Patrick, Patrick servants. It's on the website anyway. Just a code you use at the actual um, when you're 
buying it, you stick it in. And you get 20% off both the DEX and the digital DEX half price. That's it. I, don't, well, my, see, I, I can't do my old the cards at the minute because my uh, printer has decided it doesn't want to print yellow. Oh, lovely. That's great, isn't it? So I have all the um, cleaning stuff, but it's just like, where am I going to get an hour and a half to clean this? Like, when, when, <laughs> when do I get that time? <laughs> Come here, and I was, like, I was really tempted to go, well, like, just buy a new printer. Because I'm not buying a new <laughs> printer just because I don't have an hour and a half. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and was, was Patrick the inspiration for which card is it that looks like Patrick? I don't remember. Um, oh, no, the servant. Yeah, people said that to me before. No, well, it's Sin Cyprian, you know, but I mean, they all look kind of similar if you have that kind of. Uh, Big hats what and well, what the, are the sticks called? It's um, cro- c- c- Crocs, Crocs, C R O I C or something like that, isn't it? I don't know. My brain just doesn't un- doesn't remember any word anymore. A crocheted, a crocheted spear. That's what it is. A cro, yeah, it is a cro, crochet. It is a crochet, crochet. I think. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I think a bishop has the crochet. Yeah, and yeah. The, the funny hats. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Saint Cyprian is the. Is, yeah, they do all look. They're all white guys with beards, like. You know? Yeah, I suppose I, I could be very <laughs> cynical and make a St. Patrick's version of the, the, the servant, but I mean, Jesus Christ, I don't want to. I wouldn't want to live with myself if I did things like that. <laughs> Imagine I did stuff like that, you know. And for Mother's Day, I did a special on the mother and father. I, like, I mean, I, I could be making loads of money. That I'm just. Yeah, you were supposed to tell me that's that's the thing, and it's just. Uh, uh, it's like you know Calvin and Hobbes. You know that. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah he his big rule was no merchandise, nothing. No, he says that that's just, you know, the last thing he wants. He doesn't want to be that type of guy. But then you have people like, you know, Kevin Eastman and uh, what's the other guy who created the turtles? And they went, yeah, put them on everything. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> Toothpaste. George Lucas. Wasn't yeah. that how George, George Lucas made his money? Wasn't it 10% oh, yeah. of the merchandise or five yeah. or whatever the hell it was, you know? Yeah. Well, sure, that's how yeah. Metallica can make the money there. It's on T-shirts. It's, it's not, you know, no one's buying albums anymore. So yeah, it's like t-shirts. There was some documentary with Metallica where they made like oh I can't remember the figures. Something ridiculous. One hundred and twenty grand in t-shirts on on the day of one gig. One gig. Yeah, yeah, something like ridiculous. Whoa. Like, oh, yeah. So you're saying it should be in a band? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it should be a t-shirt sales. But your all web comics are funded by t-shirts. Like you know what I mean? That that's that, that's the model is you do a web comic and then you sell your t-shirts and so you essentially become a t-shirt uh, salesman. Jesus, really? Is that, that's depressing. That's well, awful. it was eight years ago when I, or ten years ago when I, ten years ago when I was making comics. Do you oh, know that, because um, you put up the Stone Rose song on Discord today and I was just going, oh, that, that's my favourite Stone Rose song. I'm not a big fan of Stone Rose song, yeah, but I love, love that song. song. And so I put in, uh, you know, Fear, uh, Ian Brown's amazing oh, yeah. song. Yeah, 20 yeah. years old, man. It's 20 years old. <laughs> Is it, Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. What? Like, I, th- I think, yeah, I think there's, there's been... Um, I there's a ten there's year, a, ten years missing. <laughs> on, I, on I, I, don't know. I think there's been one of those like um, um, weird, um, updated, cool covers of it. Um, All right, that was bad. Because you know right. this happens every now and again. Like you get like a, a a big kind of song that's influential like that, and then like ten or fifteen years later, then some chick comes along who's really pretty and does like. A whispered version of oh, it, yeah, 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 and yeah. there's some nice guitar behind it, and everyone acoustic themselves. Yeah, yeah. and it's and, just, and it's half the speed, and you got yeah. the feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm yeah. fairly sure there is a right. version of it, or else I dreamed it. Um, <laughs> and you should be doing this version of it. Yeah, and I should be doing it. Yeah, yeah. Because if I, yeah, God no. I mean, I was able to sing, but I'm not able to sing anymore because it's been so long since I practiced singing. You know. Yeah. Um, because this thing, everyone can sing. You just need to practice. That, that's no, all. It is. I, I know people who can't sing. Like, uh, like I don't know. I know, but it is just just. Well, no, keep no, but there it. is. Well, there is tone deafness that you can't hear the difference between. Um, yeah, well, notes. I suppose. Yeah, yeah. That's that. That, that makes sense. I think. I remember teaching this. Um, this girl years ago. She was. Um, oh, jeez, I don't remember what title she had. She was some opera singer. Anyway, I don't remember which. Because you know, there's sopranos, altos, da 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 da, and and the most famous one, the fat lady, which is you know the. That's no, the... she wasn't one of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that's how you know it's. We over. sat down and during the first during the first session, she's like, "Oh yeah, you you would fit into this thing, this thing." I was like, "Huh?" And she said, y- "You can sing." I was like, well, "I yeah, I used to sing." She, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I suspect, suspect she'd be uh, alto because that's that's usually the. the I name. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Not it's a good few years ago. It I'm sorry. I meant the, alto. In, Alco. <laughs> <laughs> I used to teach her in in in, in, the, in the Salesia School of Music, which is a fucking cool building. It's like um, uh, I'm trying to think of an example that isn't Hogwarts, but it did look like Hogwarts because you know I 
fucking hate Harry Potter. Um, but it was cool. Yeah, right. it had this yeah. like old museum underneath it, oh, and it wow. had like um, like really old um, you know those things um before the piano. What was before the piano? Hopscotch. Um, Hopscotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons yeah. of them. Tons right. and tons of these houses. Yeah. And like, there's even some. Like, she was showing me some. Was like, yeah, if you lift up, lift up that one. There's the a mummified bat in it. There's a mummified oh. something else in this. Yeah. It's like, wow, that's fucking... Like, you keep them, and like, yeah, there's, I don't know a, why. There's a penis and brine in that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Tommy, I'm, I'm in such better form now after talking to you for 10 minutes. Thanks for cheering <laughs> me up. No worries. It was me who put you depressed in the first place, so... Well, it wasn't <laughs> you making, me make, <laughs> making you watch the documentary we're talking about. But we'll come back to that. Yeah, uh, we will come back to it. Should I have been... Re- to watch it first, though. Uh, <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. To, to, if they Do you can know stop what? We, it later. we might have to. We might have to tell, start telling people like, they, a couple of days before, like what we're going to watch, so they can be. Yeah, but that together. that involves us having to plan things. Other than you text me late Saturday night and go, "What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> what the fuck are we doing <laughs> on Monday or t- Tuesday?" <laughs> Saturday night, ten o'clock. What do I watch, Tommy? <laughs> yeah. take, your, take your pig's spot and like, oh, no, I have uh, to decide. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what was me? You know. Yeah. Oh yeah, you did watch the secret though, so we could have, that's that's we could uh, briefly because uh, the secret is like the huge, 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 huge uh, element of uh, new age, now, and it kind of took over the world. This whole law of attraction. You hadn't seen it up until you said you seen it last week, was it? Yeah, I watched it last week because it came up on my Netflix, and I'm like, well, this must be it. Yeah. And after after thirty seconds into it, was like, this is big steaming pile of shit can't be it. Yeah, it, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it turns out that is what it is, yeah. and it's it's awful. <laughs> yeah, no, fa- well, I was going to say, in fairness, it's fifteen it's, years the film old. But is it, awful. Yeah, the film no, it is. is you know, it, but like every spiritual documentary for the last fifteen years is, has tried to be the secret. Like it looks like it. It has the mm. same talky head thing. It has that. Oh, I don't know. You know what? That kind of story of someone walking around wondering about their life thing. You know <laughs> that goes on in every documentary now. But uh, there, there's uh, Abraham Hicks were in it originally. That was it was kind of going to be about them, which uh, is you know that's the channeled weird voice so oh, I'm from the future I know things but uh, I was taken out because it was too weird but uh, you can see <laughs> it on YouTube um, okay. well, I thought it was too weird but it was like they said oh no people people are just going to <laughs> laugh at this you know kind yeah. Of yeah I mean look at the the the, 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 what you, the idea of it it's kind of cool it's Neville Goddard it's Joseph mm. um, uh, Joseph Murphy yeah, uh, it's, yeah it's, kind of... it's new thought new thought yeah yeah it's a very American first... kind of approach to mentalism, I suppose. Yeah. And it's, you know, putting yourself, saying to yourself, right, I actually am the center of the universe because I am consciousness, um, experiencing reality, so I can have what I want, but I need to train myself to... Yeah, it's very... Get, it's like it's the Cavalian you know? all over. Um, yeah. The problem was that it came out in 2006 and then there was the economic crash of 2008 and I'm not at saying there's a correlation but there definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> if you tell everyone in the world they can have whatever they want and then everyone gets massively in debt and then the, uh, the economy crashes I think we, we should be uh, rapping at Rhonda Burns' door going hey, come on. Tommy, do 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 a little banishing ritual and put a, a circle of salt there. No, if I, do, if I do if I do a banishing ritual, the computer will probably jump out the window and smash. <laughs> how are we going to? Uh, so like, this is like the gonna... eight hundred time that we've tried to record this. <laughs> uh, my brain hurts. My life hurts. I hate everyone. <laughs> Whose idea was it ever to do a podcast? Uh, <laughs> quickly tr- uh, go through it. Zoom through us out. We went over to Skype. Skype hated Spud in all shapes and forms and hated his microphone <laughs> in particular. Um, we did that for about 10 minutes. Then we decided we'd go back to Zoom again. And then uh, your router decided it hated you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got yeah. a message to connected but no internet. I'm like, that's impossible. It's not, not, it's not impossible. But like, mm-hmm. how are all these things happening? <laughs> so we were in the middle of blaming Abraxas for all this uh, because of his <laughs> Epoch study group. But I, I tend to think that uh, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe he has some sort of warning about... Well, what actually happened was I was... Uh, in the, the very first thing is I was giving out about Rhonda Bourne and the secret and saying it was her fault for the... Um, what do you call it? The collapse in 2008. So maybe she has some <laughs> sort of mad protection around her. The Law of Attraction and the Secret is the best documentary I've ever seen. And Rhonda yeah, Bourne herself is, is a very attractive attractive woman and is, uh, you know, the pinnacle of women. Uh, you know, just perfect <laughs> in every way. Yeah, so Stephanie Cron's on is fucking with us. Oh, man. It's, 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 it's it, would like, seem, it would seem to be so, huh? 
that type of stuff, it just makes it so hard to, um, I don't know, get any way enthusiastic about, you know, when technology gets in your way. And it's such a thing that happens. Like, I, I made a video about it last year where, uh, or whatever, I don't know, sometime during the lockdown, the first lockdown, was just going that, won't you start trying to do something creative or personally meaningful, be prepared for everything to break around you? Like, mm. and it's like, it's the opposite I, of Joe, it's the opposite of Joe Campbell's Follow Your Bliss. It's so, yeah, it is. It's like as yeah. soon as you try to do something that you want, ah, <laughs> you find a spiteful yeah. universe. But uh, I suppose in general, out of whatever the six hundred and twelve podcasts that we've done together at this stage, that we've only really had connection problems once or twice. So if you were going to do the gratitude thing, and you know, and say, oh, you know, it's but when you're in the middle of it, it's it's hard not to. Be, uh, <laughs> very it's just strange timing because the whole with with this Quranzan thing going on as well, which like I. Yeah, I've started to do this thing where I'm going to sleep at night, and I'm, where I, when I catch myself going to sleep, I try and do a kind of vision or something, you know. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't have started doing it when Karanzan's name was popping up, because <laughs> <laughs> like I saw shit last night. I don't know. I don't want to see again. Like, you know? right? Yeah, you look like Karanzan's a PTSD. Karanzan's now. Fuck you fucking arsehole, so he is. And you got a parking, <laughs> you got a parking ticket. Yes, you were saying your first ever. I got my first ever parking. But see, the parking, the parking ticket was was. I mean, every time you pause, I go, "Is he gone? What's going on?" Is he gone? <laughs> no, come here. Um, no, because I, I shared, I, I I shared stuff with you and a couple other people, but I'm, I don't want to talk about too much. It's that enlightenment thing that I've had there recently. Yeah. And. So yes, yesterday happened. I came out of the shop and I seen a guy taking photographs of a car. Right, and I thought, ha, look, there's an Egypt just like just like myself. He doesn't know his uh, he doesn't know his own registration plate, which I I don't. Like yeah, you, I you have these uh -huh. um they have these parking things in Poland where you need to put in your plate number. I don't right. got fucking clue it. So I always have a photograph of my plate. Somewhere oh, in my phone. Yeah. And then when I can't find it, I just take a new one. So I just, I saw this one and I went, Haha, he's an Egypt like me. Doesn't remember his plate. And then, and then he took out his pen, he wrote something down and he put underneath the, the, the wiper and I went, ah, bollocks. So it was a parking ticket. Nice. And uh, so I took a photo of it, sent to Haggis, I go, what's this like? Because I, 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 I had the cash on me, I wanted to pay him then and there, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I just got back to the car and I started fuming you know just going mad you know yeah, yeah. but like very quickly into it like five seconds into it I went no 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 no. you're not doing this to yourself yeah. stop so like and it's something I'm trying to do a lot more is to like when something comes up that gets a bad reaction or reaction or an overreaction just I try my best to see the problem for what it actually is you know what I mean and it's yeah. just a it's the reaction is the problem. But it's parking ticket. We've all got parking tickets. Yeah, I'm just annoyed because... Well, I've never had one. Like, touch with all the wood. Well... Ever. And it's my own fault as well because, like, I was only there, like, two weeks ago. And right. it's always been free parking, but they've right, obviously right. changed it. And I just didn't see any of the signs because I don't be paying attention to yeah. stuff that's written in Polish. I just don't. <laughs> Arrows, humps... Yeah. I know all those ones they're fine but if it's written I'm like I don't care yeah. <laughs> but you see the problem with these things is that it's not the parking ticket it's the 700 things that have happened that led up to the parking ticket and it all becomes <laughs> yeah, cumulative yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's like yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. like the straw that breaks the camel back that, that it's like and very hard to put yourself in the situation of it being just the problem you know because it, you, you see, we're pattern making machines we see patterns this is a trend mm. this is you know yeah. and then yeah, there's yeah, also yeah, yeah, yeah. um it's like particularly it's very obvious with, with, with children because you know you, you kind of you've been crying all day because yeah but this is a particular problem they have you know but you can't <laughs> you know it's it's that thing I find that very hard but I, it's not with, in general not just with kids to, 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 to see it as an individual thing but I mean it, it's obviously the answer like that's it you know oh yeah, yeah. It, you, like, yeah. you should see them all as individual things yeah, oh, yeah. that is that is the best way that's the, but that's then the when you have uh, do a podcast and a number of individual things happen in a row, <laughs> it's very hard not to, to kind of to, to see a pattern or a trend yeah. or, so, or something to it. I don't know. Like, I'm reluctant to put it down to him, it, thing, because, like, okay, like, I'm, I'm willing to go fairly far with the woo-woo. Yeah, I yeah. Am. That's mm. fairly obvious by now. Obvious, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, you're just like, 
Yeah, I don't like the look of him. I, I know what I like. The, like there was a, the, the, the Epoch study group, there was a, a thing about uh, Lucifer, and I was like, mm. I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want him in my life. Yeah, I'm thinking about Lucifer <laughs> in the sense of is that it's not it's not Satan. Like we've talked about that before. It's, it's the light bringing yeah, yeah, the yeah, know, tricks but, and blah blah all that. But yeah. at the same time, you're going, yeah, well, like maybe maybe I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want. No, I don't, fine, I don't want to learn. Sorry. I don't want to be illuminated. Keep that apple away from me, thanks very much. I'll have my uh, I'll have my ignorance, please. Ignorance is bliss. But, Quran, cetera, but like, but what, 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 what is Quran Zone's actual mythology like? What is? Well, it's his... about time, isn't it? Like that. It's a, uh, it's a relationship to time. It's what uh, in, like, well, maybe I'm not wrong because I, I have the correlation between Kronos, isn't it, which is Saturn, it's, and yeah. at his time. So maybe I'm wrong. But I thought in, um, books I've read that it's mentioned that there's some sort of that when he appears, there's like a, um, time speeds up, stops, or disappears, yeah. or there's some sort of sort sort of thing. Um, but I suppose technically the the it's the he's the dweller in the threshold of the abyss like that he's the guy he's the the boss of that level to get past the you know the abyss on to the, yeah. the next. Well, thing. then that just means that everyone just needs time to cross the abyss, you know, and or at that <laughs> and he's um, and he's the one who says yay or nay to the time passing for you to cross it. Or it's just outside you know? of time or something. I, I don't know. I don't know uh, ex- yeah. exactly. But it, it's it's never pleasant, and. Uh, most people turn away. That's that's the thing. That, that it, it's it, and it's more than I suppose in a sense of seeing your shadow because it's 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 um, yeah, it, there seems to be an element of it, it, it's seeing the entirety of things and to be yeah, able to yeah, face yeah. that rather than just your own kind of individual thing. I know yeah. uh, Stuart Wilde talks about that. He talks about it in the in sense of a thousand day journey, and when you, when you get and you get to a wall, you get to this wall. So it's the same type of thing, you know, this kind of block the abyss, the whole thing. And he says everyone turns away from it first of all, everyone. And then you have, you know, you come back, and it depends how far back you walk. You have to walk back towards the wall, but eventually you have to do it. And the whole idea is you have to do it alone, of course, because your HGA fucks off. Because you're on your own, mate. <laughs> Enjoy that, and uh, finds the bridge <laughs> and meets you on the other side when you get there. Yeah, but um. Yeah, just it's, I don't know, like it definitely. Uh, yeah, I think it's the it's the dweller on the threshold is called in theosophy or uh, many yeah. many other things. I prefer the Buddhist, yeah, the Buddhist kind of take on it, where it's just it's the long dark night of the soul, and it's not personified by this former Greek god who is, yeah. you know, a bad apple. <laughs> yeah, dark night of the soul is a is a Christian thing, though, wasn't it? Saint John of John of the Cross. That's where it originally comes from. But I mean, uh, I know yeah, it, yeah, the actual, yeah, the actual yeah. name, not the like yeah. obviously the experience yeah. is more universal than that. But uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, but sure, look, I mean, in in Ingram's book, and like you have to take him on his word because he's he knows his shit. Obviously, yeah. he's like you know for some for some people crossing this. Like long down night, the soul is crossing the abyss, whatever, whichever term you prefer to use. Yeah. Like it's for some people, it's hell, and yeah, you know, they a lot of people, it's of this. twenty minutes. For yeah, for other people, it's done in a day. Mm. Uh, it's grand, <laughs> you know. It's, so I don't know. I think I got away lightly with it. What's the, the the thing from your reading of it? Is it is it something that has to be done if reincarnation is a thing? Let that's let's. let's uh, have a presupposition in it. That, is it something that has ha- has to happen in every life? Or is it something that has to happen in uh, singularly as part, like uh, as part of? I don't know. Yeah, so I've never, I've never come across uh, an answer to that. In my reading, no. anyway. Uh, well, I mean, the, well, the answers I've seen is that once you've done it, that's it, and then you won't come back to the earthly realm. Realm, you know. Yeah, but then you also hear people like, like who say the reincarnations of people who've have claimed that they have, you know, in the previous lives already, you know, been in touch with different things. Like, so it, yeah. kind of, it seems that there is a kind of an element. No, I know there's, what do they call it? Is a stream entry, they call it. Stream entry is when you get your first, yeah, first it's awakening the, or something. Yeah, it's the equivalent of what Gordon White from Chaos Magic would call becoming invincible. Uh, invincible. It's the bit where you can't go back, that you, you, the world yeah. has, that, that thing, yeah, has become so, yeah. it's shown its, cause, shown its hand in some way that you can't unsee. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I like being alive and all, but I don't know. After watching that documentary there yesterday and the Adam Curtis documentary from a few weeks ago, I'm not sure I want to come back anymore. <laughs> no, I, I 100% never. I don't want to come back to this place ever, 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 ever again. Ever. No, thank you. 
Remember I mean, uh, a George Har- yeah. Harrison's documentary goes on about that. He goes, no, one life, getting it done, getting doing the work, never coming back yeah, to this yeah. fucking place. But so then I mean, you t- like, I'd like to come back just to see more of it, you know. But like, I still have plenty more years ahead of me that I can go see it. It's just I don't really particularly. If if we if we survive today, <laughs> if Quran's on, <laughs> leave, leaves us alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's mad, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's 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 bizarre. Yeah, today's been strange with that. Like the last the last two or three days have been, and it's been strange for me, you, yeah. and the other two people doing the EPUB yeah. study group. Just yeah. and it's. Do you know you can put it down to okay you're you're having a bad day and you're putting it down to this okay that's your choice to put it down to that yeah and you're explaining it but like when four people connected to something where we're all studying the same thing we all have a shitty time yeah and, and it's a bit and like a, a particular shitty time like kind yeah. of point, things that you can point to that I don't I had a terrible day yet so I don't really want to go into it so I'm not going to but uh, like proper fucking gut punch. Oh, and, and like, mm. the thing about it, like, you can explain and go, right, let's explain it in your example, go, oh, it's a parking ticket. And you go, yeah, but it, it's not a parking ticket. Like, it, it, there's something, in my, in my case, like, if I explain about it, what happened, it's, it's so insignificant. It's not a thing, but it's the uh, impact and, and the kind of thing that happened around it that, you know, it's just hard to explain that it just seemed more... It's not poignant, is the, is the right word. No, 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 po- I get you. I get you. in it's, a way. Like, no, it's because it's the reaction is... If it happened on a good day, the react the reaction to that would have been totally fine. I was, yeah, yeah, I was absolutely. Saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but or even but on because, a on a bad day, you might have just went, ah, oh, fuck it. You know, that's a, yeah. that's another thing. But just, all oh, right, get on with it. Just get on with it. You know. Yeah, but because this other this other thing is also in your head, and you're yeah. like, okay, well, uh, normally I wouldn't react like this. Yeah, yeah. Am I reacting like this because of that? Well, and here's then, the thing, because Abraxas um, mm-hmm. sent me a message, and he says. Um, after I put up my thing and he says, do you want to talk about it? And I'm just kind of mentioning about it. And he goes, well, here's the thing you have to think about. Is Karanzon the thing that happened or is Karanzon the reaction? And yeah. I was going, oh, well, that's interesting. I go, and my answer was, well, it, might, it could be both too. Like, you, you know, yeah. but like, just interesting you saying that the reaction then thing is the, the significant thing is the reaction, not the actual event. So yeah, that yeah, would yeah, kind yeah. of lead you to think that it's, it's the, you, you, you're meant to, if you're thinking of it as a learning experience and he's trying to show you something, let's give him rather than just being a spiteful prick. Uh, <laughs> it felt like it really exacerbated my reaction and added to it and made yeah. it very pointed and like you can't get away from this. You know, yeah. there's no, um, and you have to look at this because it was also part, uh, like the thing that happened and it's part of a larger kind of shadow working thing that I'm trying to work on. So it just kind of really. I suppose it really, yeah, really hit home, really kind of pointed at something. Mm. I didn't get the answer because I don't know what the answer is. No, yeah. but you know what? Like, I, I, I kind of, I kind of think that the, the shadow stuff that people talk about and the shadow work and all that, I think it's kind of, not to say it, I think people spend too long and delve too much into it. I think it's usually, I think it's enough to just to see it. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, and there is like, kind of the, the extra element of it is that if you're constantly trying to look for something that's wrong with you, you're going to find it, or oh, Jesus, you're going to have that. You're, yeah. you're going to have that thing of where you're constantly going to have the sensation that there's something wrong with you, that there's something you need to fix, which is again yeah. part of the bigger picture of there's this is a world we need to wake up from. You know, it's it's like there's something wrong that we need to get over there, and it's yeah. like and from a macro to a micro to a kind of level you have that like that's not to say focus don't do any self development work <laughs> at all you're grand no the opposite do loads of it but, do but, loads of it but be know. aware that it, it's not it's it's like this thing I've been reading it an awful lot of young this week since I've read um, Bernardo Catrup's Ketchup's book and just kind of because I, I really enjoyed that book but I wanted to know is that Bernardo's ideas or is it actually Young so I mm. want to go you know so I'm reading mm. the books that are actually and so far it seems it, it's it's Young's for the most part but he he's like <clears throat> makes the point of in, in the thing of that you have to be a bit more open about it all this kind of stuff and not kind of put yourself into the um you know, he's talking about it, the therapist themselves, which he calls a doctor or whatever. He says he can't come in too much, too forceful into these things because, you know, you don't know. I suppose you, you have, what am I trying to say? You're, he has to be open enough to not kind of assert his authority on these things and, you know, to be able to kind of let the person unfold naturally. And that, you know, that 
this kind of constant kind of looking for something that's there can mean that you spend an awful lot of the therapy searching for an, an event that didn't actually yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. so that's an uns- unsolvable riddle, you know, in yeah. that you're kind of go, why am I like this? Why is there so- I, I feel broken? What is the bit that broke me? And I said, well, it mightn't be, you know, it, it might be something else, you know, and you have to kind of let go of it in, in, in a way. But like some, sometimes the problem is sometimes there is an event. There is something that you, you kind of either remember or more the case I found it's that you realise I've been discounting that memory. Like the, that memory I have of that came back to me in the meditation about um, a traumatic event when I was quite young where there was a fire lit um, in the kind of, bit, you know what the way housing estates in Ireland always had that building site beside them because they were never finished. So there was, <laughs> yeah. so there was just kind of a, a part of the, of the, of the estate where I grew up and that, um, you know, had like a cement mixer and, you know, bits and pieces, but it was kind of mucking around. But someone had lit a fire and I was over lighting it, or I was over watching it, you know, t- you know, 10 or something, 11. I don't know what age I thought it was great. But then, then people started throwing stones and someone threw a stone, a big brock, and it hit me in the back of the head and I was kind of startled. But at the same time, there was a guy in one of the houses going nuts shouting out his window and he started running over and giving out about the fire. But everyone else scattered. But because I was kind of hit by this thing, I didn't know what really was going on. So he kind of ended up blaming me for it. And so he started shouting and screaming at me to pull the stones out of the fire, to put the fire out with my bare hands. My hands got all burnt. And like, there's loads more to that that uh, feeds into it. But it was just kind of, it's not that I didn't know that memory, but I've never talked about that in therapy. I've, I've, the finesse never knew about it. You know, it's just mm. not something that it seemed relevant to, you know, if someone like at the beginning of therapy says, well, what kind of, you know, trauma events have you seen? And I've talked about like a car accident I've seen and stuff and like, but that, and I was going, well, that doesn't really affect me. It was just, you know, someone dead on the ground, you know, it was kind of, I think that's an answer you're looking for, you know, of things, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but not really talking about the actual thing. And I remember in the meditation, I just kind of came back and I was going, seeing the kind of, I suppose, relevance of it rather than just kind of, and I think that's, for me, anyway, I don't know, like, you know, when you say you bury something or, or you know, in your subconscious, it, it's like, I think that it's there. You're just not looking at it. I don't, you know, I've yeah. never really had a, a thing where I suddenly remembered oh, of my childhood and my, you know, my uncle touched me, you know, and I, I didn't know that happened until, you know, two minutes ago or something. I, that's never happened to me, but, I, you know, I'm sure it might happen to people if it's so trauma- traumatizing. My uncle's dead on anyway, so they're like, <laughs> in no way touched me. Um, you buy me flowers first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it to the cinema. No, no, I, I, I think you're right. I think, mm. yeah, no, I think we do, we do bury stuff down and we don't see, we don't see it with kind of objective eyes. Yeah. You know? Or how we it's, think like, you know, how it's tra- traumatized, tra- tra- tough word, or how it's affecting you in some way, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, it's like, it's like when you start school or something, or bigger school, so like you're, whatever six or seven and you mm. go to school and you see that like ah their parents don't act like my parents yeah huh oh shit my parents are fucked up <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 it's realising what you think is normal isn't normal it can yeah, be quite, yeah, yeah. quite isn't you know, normal discombobulating <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you're like wait what that's oh oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh no yeah <laughs> but it's yeah so um yeah. The young, he, he's, he, you know, he just makes a thing of, of, you know, making sure that you're not searching for something that isn't actually there, you know, that it could be something else. But uh, he's uh, just to kind of go off on a different tangent. He talks about at the end of um, the undiscovered self that he talks about. He essentially makes the argument for 10 to the part of the garden that you can reach, where yeah. he's saying that he says, you know, the whole but subject to what we are subjected to in the West. And he's definitely coming from a, a post-war Cold War, where you know there's the definite threat of nuclear annihilation, and that's his big worry. You know that the, are we gonna are we gonna kill ourselves here? You know that's his, which is fair enough. It's written in 1958. You know he's, he's, it, it gets much worse before it gets much better. Like you know, <laughs> um, but he's he's kind of saying that the only thing we really can do is is understand that it, through all of these things, and he, he's talking about archetypical. And for him, archetypes are kind of a bit like the morphic resonance idea of Sheldrake. They're they're, they're patterns, blueprints. You know they're not. Um, you know, we can't see them. We can only infer them from their images to, as they appear uh, uh, into us. But they're more like um, habits, let's say, in the way uh, yeah. t- uh, Sheldrake would talk about. Says, but you have to remember that works through 
uh, politics and ideologies as well. They, they they appear through that. It's not we just kind of tend to, to come through people, but you know that. So at the minute we're going through a very archetypical pattern in society, and you know it's kind of emerging through that way. And the people that are in that system aren't realizing that's what's happening, but it is. Which kind of you know kind of negates the whole idea of a grand conspiracy because if all everyone has been influenced by these kind of archetypical patterns, and no one again isn't fully. Control. I suppose you can have negative archetypes, maybe, or you know, some sort of uh, dysfunctional archetype thing, though. Um, but he's talking about that the, the key in it, in a sense, is that we we forget that as an individuals we have some sort of power, you know, that we, because it's all been taken away from us, and you know, we, the state has become the new god and the new religion and all of this type of things. And he kind of says that the thing that you have to work on then is to be the best influence you can be within the thing that you can influence, which is the yeah. exact thing of tending to the part of the garden you can reach. And I thought that was very hopeful. It's, it's literally the, the, the kind of the last paragraph or two of of the book. But he just says, "I'm not I'm not coming from you know um, an optimistic or or, or essentially an idealistic point of view. You know, I am worried about the future, but I you know, who knows? Because he mentioned as well that we don't know what we're capable of. You know, and it's uh, that even if we could have to see the true kind of ethos of what the Christian message is trying to to suggest is that even God is looking for the thing that we are. So. You know, there's a whole kind of hope out of it, which I thought was, that, was, that was interesting. It's very nice. Um, yeah, it's good. While, ha- while having a couple of chapters of, oh, the West, mm, not great for us. I mean, we know it's not great <laughs> for us in many ways, you know, but it's like, but, yeah. uh, but he's definitely talking in terms, in regard to, um, you know, uh, the end of humanity that Uber Boyo and stuff talks about. Well, his date's gone, you know, the, the conjunction, whatever. He does talk about in terms of this is, this is going to take centuries. You know, things happen slow. And when you change ideologies very quickly, they seem to have a, a, an adverse reaction. Them. They don't stick or they cause havoc. You know, it's just kind of slow, gradual, that if people can individually kind of tend to the part of the garden that they can reach, where they can influence the people around them in a more positive, enlightened way, then that's that's kind of the, the way forward. So to answer the question of uh, does uh, Carl Jung think we're all fucked, I don't think he does. At least he did in three years before he died. So. No, and like I was, I shared it with you, and I think I shared it on uh, one of the discords. Your maybe your discord, maybe the Magia one. I don't know about that. That um, the hypothesis that we're entering the second axiom. Oh yeah, 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 which yeah. is incredibly hopeful. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but also like, well, okay, it's hopeful in a way that like, right, like we could kind of. It's kind of like we could, should we choose. Uh, be entering a time of of just immense uh, knowledge mm. sharing and giving and creating new systems that make everything awesome. But but yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, we kind of need to get our shit together to do well, it. That's like, it. That's it. Like, and that's know? the whole eta or uh, kind of thing behind John Higgs's book, the Optimist one. Is like we there is answers to this. Of course, there's answers to this. Just do we want them? You know, do we want yeah. to do the thing that ne- that ne- needs to be done? And uh, I don't Johnny, know. Well, do we? Here, <laughs> but like, there's one, there's one, there's one big choice that's looming. That is, uh, well, unless 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 people get their fingers at their asses and get the hydrogen fuel working properly, um, air travel could be gone fairly soon. Right. In in the in the way that we know it. Right. You know, in the way that we can buy. You know ticket for 80 quid and go anywhere in Europe kind of thing it's probably going to go back to boats um, the way it was in the 70s 60s 70s 80s it's just very very expensive you know what I mean yeah, yeah. and uh, I mean you know personally I've thought I've, I've thought about it I'm like yeah it sucks I'm never going to get to see, go to Australia and see my mates or go to Peru and, and, and do Machu Picchu or, and that is Peru isn't it I always yeah. mix them up I think it's Machu Picchu yeah <laughs> and you know Sucks, but like, you know, it, I'd rather the world lived on a yeah, bit longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd rather there was a world for my kids. Yeah, yeah. I can make the sacrifice that I'm never going to go to somewhere I, I, I'm I nowhere close to. Mm. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, small things like that. I, but like, it, as well as like with this tending the part of the garden, like, Okay, so you have a responsibility to be the best person you can for you, for yourself first and foremost, for your yeah. family, for your friends. But like, but then like, you know, you have to stretch that out a bit as well. You know, you you should try and be nice in work, man. You know, try and yeah. like, 
you know, I mean, you with the podcast, like, yeah, just yeah. try and, you know, like, I was dreading that me and you were going to go all ranty and ravey today about about that, uh, the documentary yesterday. Oh, we, we might. <laughs> uh, well, Maybe. we might, but yeah. at the same, but, 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 like, if we're tending to the garden, then at least we're spreading kind of a bit of knowledge on it, yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. just being, because it's, it, 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 it's, it's the thing I hate about modern media and, um, I suppose journalism as a whole, politics as well, is that like, no, because it's very easy to wear a suit and, and, and do some elocution lessons and, and, and get trained by a, by a, by a, by a, by a, by a, I haven't obviously done any elocution lessons in office. <laughs> <laughs> trained but, by a, by a, by a, by a. But, 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 but I'm talking like a, 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 like a politician here searching for, for time, you know. Um, you can do all that stuff, get trained by PR people and be a politician and just stand up on a podium and just say, there is a problem. There is a problem. There is a problem, and the journalist will say, "Well, what's the solution?" The oh, problem, I'm just here to tell you about the problem. The problem. Look, mm. the problem is is this and this. Yeah, but but what about? No, you're not you're not listening. You need to focus on the problem because we need to have a conversation about the problem. And by having a conversation, and you're just like, "Shut the fuck!" You're you're achieving nothing. Mm. Do you know? So, yeah, like, yeah, I want to I want to tend more to the garden, Tommy, and try and fucking help. <laughs> yeah, I but I mean, it also like I mean, tend to the part of garden you reach doesn't just mean your family and the people around you. It means that your influence circle. Like it means like if you have a podcast and that's part of part of the garden. You know, it's like yeah. it's not it's not just you know look after yourself and your family. It's it's whatever you have the ability to impact, you should impact that and it's the, the most positive and effective way that you possibly can. That's my yeah. reading of it. Anyway, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, it that's what I see. I suppose it doesn't be careful with your words. It doesn't always have to be positive. It just has to be. True, maybe as truthful as possible. Well, no, what would I mean what by mean? positive? Uh, like, um, you know, you can tell someone, I could say to you, you know, something that you don't want to hear, but it's overall positive, like that I'm trying to yeah, help yeah, you. Yeah, That's yeah. what I mean. Oh, rather I know, than, rather than just, just kind of go, oh, everything's grand, everything, you know, not forced positivity no but it's, it's that thing like, like, that's 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 the big problem with the new agey stuff is that like you know positive vibes man and yeah, it's like, no, yeah. That's, that's not good enough positive vibes aren't aren't saving the fish in the oceans <laughs> they're not like no no well I no. suppose that correct action uh, skillful action right right action that's that's what mm. I mean rather than positive in, I, I know I know pull, what to mean I you know, know pull the mean. weeds you know pull the weeds out of your garden you know pull weeds you know don't don't just kind of go ah uh, you know if they're happy they'll go away by themselves because you know they don't yeah, Unless they're dandelions, then you can make dandelion tea, which is lovely. It tastes yes. like um, sunflowers. Lovely, oh, nice, lovely. very nice. Yeah, there's dandelions going to be popping up soon. And net nettle tea as well. You can make that nettle, nettle tea. Is. Yeah, nettle tea is good for something. Is it mercury? It's very good for your blood, I think. It's nettle a, tea. An arthritis, I think. Inflammation, isn't it? Is that it? Okay, I maybe so. I have it wrong. That no, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I read on something on a website two years ago that may have changed in my brain over the course of, uh, <laughs> I don't know, for something completely different. Spud. Yeah, I was going to ask you about Harper's book, but we'll save it till next time then. Um, we've gone on long enough. Yeah. Let's do this film. Persona, the dark side of personality tests. There was a kind of interesting sync about this, and that you had sent me a personality test a couple of days before this. Uh, yeah. a, a different thing whatever and also Morgan sent me a message yesterday going I have a, a documentary for you but it's not a recommendation because I don't like it <laughs> so he, he kind of he, he was a uh, it, it kind of popped up in a few different but did things he, did, did Morgan not like it in the same way we didn't like it or did he does he think it's um, it, well he thinks uh, personality tests are, are pseudoscience that's uh, 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 well, he, He's right. <laughs> yeah. Um. In but in the sense, uh, let me see. Yeah. That, that 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 the focus should have been on that rather than it's kind of um how it's used or not necessarily focus that that it didn't cover that. That was kind of his his uh, feeling. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I enjoyed this documentary, but enjoyed is absolutely the wrong word. You know. <laughs> absolutely. Um. I felt somewhat devastated by this documentary and. Uh, uh. Um. Heartbroken, so I was. I was heartbroken <sighs> and angry. Heartbroken. And I wanted to watch the world burn after yeah. watching this. Yeah. You know, it made me so fucking angry, so it did. Yeah. You know? The basic premise, I suppose, of this is that personality tests, two in particular, um, the Mayor's Briggs and the Big Five, which is massively touted, the Big Five, uh, by. Peterson and you know he even has his own version of the test that you can do and that you know so that I've, I, I've, I've come across that one before and it comes up an awful lot in a very 
scientific way that this this is a you know a scientific method. This is you know totally legit or whatever. The Mayor's Briggs thing, when you look into it, is a bit less legit than, than you would suspect. Um, and the very first thing is it says it's not two men; it's a, a, a mother and her daughter. And that childhood seemed to be very must have been very odd, where your mother's raising you, but just essentially just taking notes and everything you do, <laughs> and you know completely just. Uh, but to say that, isn't it, that when you have parents are therapists, but she wasn't a therapist. She was just, she was a lay person. Like she was no she just qualifications. Young, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> she just, she, yeah. She, I wonder, like, I mean, I haven't read his psychological types books, but I wonder how much different it is from it, from the, you know, the 16 different types. And I, I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to read it and find out. Like, yeah, I wonder. Yeah. 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 Like, would Carl Jung be horrified by this? I suspect he I would. Man, I, t- I, I think... Mrs. Briggs would be her, or Myers is her name. Myers, yeah. wasn't it? The other one was Briggs, she got yeah. married. Mm-hmm. I think old Mrs. Myers would be fucking horrified by what's after happening, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, you know? um, yeah so it's kind of the, the trust of the... Um, it's based on a book by... Um, or at least is uh, inspired by the book by Merv Emery, who's one of the talking heads in it, and it's called The Personality Brokers, The Strange History of Merv Briggs and the Birth of the Personality Testing. And it, uh, she kind of, her objection was that she was typed and given a job that she ultimately hated and that she then felt that, that you know, she wanted to look into it further. Um, but the kind of trust of it is, the documentary is that they're, they're legit. These things can understand people they're just used in a kind of an evil way by corporations and by racist people and by misogynists and you know uh, all all this kind of thing but that from the documentary point of view they're fairly legit that's that that was my read of that the kind of a thing um and there's one uh person in particular talks about it and says these things are fine in this kind of personal development level of things but when you start getting into and above that then it, you know you get into a whole host of dangers, yeah, as we true. see. It, it it is it's a slippery slope to eugenics, yeah. like oh so man, it it's and it's it's so close, it's very yeah. close, like, uh, which is the fear, like that's that that's that's the that's the overriding kind of that 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 kind of what is that um film where they're all genetically modified and they're all given things at birth or whatever. Oh, it's not from that long ago, probably 20 years ago now, but it's that, you know, and the, you're, you're genetically, um, the more money you have, the better genetically altered you can be. Brave New World is a bit like that, actually, but uh, oh, whatever okay. it's called. But um, yeah, it, it has a personal story in it, which is Kevin, is right? Is that, is, uh, if I'm Kyle. Remember. Ky- Kyle, Kyle, yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, there's a number of personal stories, but his, his is quite... <laughs> It's just devastating. I I, I was no, crying again. That absolutely. Oh, like, so. No. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want to, I, I don't don't want to take that? Me. Jesus. Yeah. I've been to all types of funerals. Mm. You know. I don't cry. I fucking cried at the end of this, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's heartbreaking. The poor devil. You know. Um. Kyle. Yeah. Poor Kyle. <laughs> Kyle did. Kyle's the son of a lawyer. <laughs> was the son of a lawyer. So he did that classic son of a lawyer thing, where it's like, like instead of you know looking for a job, he asked his friends, "Can he get a job?" And his friends set him up with this uh, interview for a drug pharmaceutical company. Okay, fine. Everyone's gonna hire him. Everyone goes well. Ah, yeah. You just need to do one more thing. Do this uh, personality test. He's like, okay. So he does the per- personality test, and you know because Kyle is naive, he does everything honestly, and mm. uh, then you know a month goes by. Where's my fucking job? Like, and two months goes by. Where, where, I, oh yeah, there's his friend. Hey, what's the story about my job? He's like, oh yeah, no, you didn't. Sorry, no, you you were red flagged. He's like, what do you mean red flagged? And then, in fairness, then to Kyle and his dad, they start looking up these. Uh... So what happens is, let's let's say you apply for a job in. Uh, was wasn't it? A lot of them was like Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's. Yeah, and yeah, scumbag, yeah, yeah. Scumbag, scumbag fucking corporations. So um, they don't do the proper hiring well they hire people obviously but they outsource the the weeding out of people basically so you you apply for a job and then you're sent to a third party um, website and you do these personality tests and or one personality test and then McDonald and then from that data then people are weeded out of it kind of thing yeah. so number one this is illegal you can't do this in any country in the world right <laughs> well it's illegal you know, to um not hire someone based on 
a perceived disability. Yeah. And this is the way yeah, of sorry, out sorry, about that's that. what I was getting to. Sorry, yeah, that's yeah. what I was getting to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can't, you can't, you can, no. Okay. You 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 can interview someone and then decide at the interview he's not for us. Yeah. But you can't pre-screen. You can't do it. You can't pre-screen based on tests. Right. You know? Okay. Right. Yeah. You're just not allowed to do this. So um, he finds that people, him and his his attorney dad find out that this is happening and they're like, right, this, we got to do something. Here. But so, isn't a CV uh, by itself a pre-screening though? Like, um, maybe I'm... Yeah, but a, a CV isn't going to show that you have, you know, long-term bipolar. Right, so it's it's you can't like pre-screen for mm-hmm. a disability. It, that that's yeah, yeah. The, the, okay, the, the, sorry. Yeah. No, is right, that is that right? Is that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't pre-screen for stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the poor fella, he, and this this just happens all his life. He just can't get a job. And he, he's job. he's um, autistic. Is he? Is that is that the, or he has some no, sort no, no, of no, 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 no. The, there's an Asian American girl who's autistic. Right, sorry, right, he right. he he's he's bipolar. Bipolar, right? Yeah. He's bipolar, and um. So and then the reason he got red flagged was because in by doing this Miggs Breyer uh, test, it showed up that he um, wouldn't be good at customer service because he would ignore the the customer, and um, he wouldn't be able to empathise with him or something like that. The way he put it, but he says then, look, I've done these jobs before, and then it shows him working in like a donut yeah, yeah. stall in a in, mm-hmm. a in a in a shopping centre. So, like, obviously he has done it before and he says, like, I've learned from working that you need to take your emotions out of it and then deal with the person, which is perfectly acceptable. Yeah, yeah, perfect. you know? yeah, absolutely. Like, instead of me, we're like, I, I yeah. worked in Most post people can't do that. <laughs> and, like, my, my emotions were totally in it and I'd just yeah. be fucking round with anyone who crossed yeah. my fucking path, looked at me the wrong way. Yeah, but you see, you wouldn't get the job now because uh, you'd, you'd be tested. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be out. Tested, yeah. <laughs> I mean... Look, the flip side of this is that it's to stop people getting jobs they're not go- they're going to be unhappy in, you know. Yeah, yeah. Which is okay. That's that's nice. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's a worthy thing to try and but do. Like, but you know, can can we still have something where people can get jobs? <laughs> you know, you know, because people need to fucking work. You know? But the, the kind of thing that that it's like um, to stop having a job that you want. But who wants to work in McDonald's? Exactly. You know, who wants to you know what I mean? work in any of these places? Who, who, whose dream job is, you know, a Cinnab- Cinnabon? Is that what Cin- yeah, Cinnabon. Cinnabon is called, isn't it? Cinnabon, Cinnabon, yeah, that's the Louis C.K. one like, as well. Is, isn't <laughs> that mad that, that, that Cinnabon have paid the Better Call Saul producers for this ad in all of their seasons? Right. Where is that? Like, it's shown in the worst possible light. <laughs> like, so right, I've Jimmy, never seen Better Jimmy Call Saul. is on the run. He's on the <laughs> run from all the drug dealers. And he has to have has to have this pretend job in making fucking Danish pastries <laughs> for fat Americans. Like, you know, it's like, what, you know, like that's that's the ad you paid for. Okay, that's that's intelligent. I hope someone got no. I, actually, I hope someone didn't get fired for that. <laughs> it's look, it's 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 a really. There's something else we didn't mention as well. The 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 the, the podcast starts out or the podcast the the, the, the video film. The moving pictures. The moving pictures. <laughs> yeah, the talkies. Off really, really, the talkies start yeah. off really badly. It's like an assault on your senses. And I was watching, just going, this. This is what it must be like to have ADHD. Because yeah, yeah. this is, just, it's a, it calms down as. as yeah, as, as however, the, the sound on. design on it needs to be shot. That like absolutely. And it's, it's just like it's just scene. No, well, that's, scene, that's cruel. Scene. No, they need to be. They need to learn not to. Big sound like that. <laughs> That's better it's, than it's, it's, it, it, like The scenes they change so quickly, and there, there's mad graphics coming up. There's music changing all the time, and there's um, you know memes and animations, and and then another scene, and there's another talking head, and it just goes on for a good ten minutes or something. Yeah, or f- good ten minutes. Yeah, minutes, and it's it's in the fucking assault on your senses, and I don't know why the fuck they did it that way. I really wish they hadn't because I started watching. This. It's purposely done like that to. Yeah, it could be some. purposely done, but like. Like if I didn't have to, not didn't have to. I didn't have to watch it. But yeah. if we weren't watching it for this, I would have. I would have. Yeah, if, off, if it was on, too, if it was too, on uh, Netflix, and you were just looking for something to watch, you wouldn't watch it. Yeah, no, you'd you'd, yeah. you'd 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 go looking for something else. But I but like stick with it. Do stick with it. It's, it's really good. It's really yeah. fucking good. Mm. But you're going to be really angry after it. So like, don't yeah. watch it with your missus. Wait, she's gone to bed or something, or 
you know, don't watch it and then like have your kids or something. You know, don't be like one of those divorced dads who watches these in the morning and then has his kids in the afternoon because, like, you're just going to hate your kids, you know. Or else you're just going to be depressed about their how 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 their futures are already fucking lined up and yeah, yeah. all they have to do is knock over the Donimo, Donimo, and, like, <laughs> they're, they're just, everything is just... It, it's, it's awful. It's so bad to think that this is the world and how it has become, you know. We're all just put in our pigeonholes and that's it. You are that. That is yeah. what you are. You are and forever the finger and me. ever you and are, ever. You are this. Yeah. This is what you are. This is your personality. You've had no choice. Your experiences count for fucking nothing. Go work for Microsoft. No, that's, that's a good job. Go work <laughs> for fucking KPMG, you fucking lemming. <laughs> what the fuck? Have, have we allowed this to happen? We have allowed this to happen. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. makes me sick, man. So fucked up. Mm. Yeah, and, and I mean, ultimately, not to spoil it because it's, it's, it's like really spoiled, but it uh, it goes bad for Kyle. He, he he can't get a job. He can't get out and he gets more disillusioned, more disillusioned, the whole thing. And he kills himself. And yeah. it's horrifying. And his dad's left. His dad Poor did guy. He was, yeah. he was lovely. He was yeah. Such a nice man. Mm. And like it, it's like obviously happens in the middle of filming the documentary because of proper shots of interviews. It's not like kind of you know phone camera level. They talk, you know you know the way to go back in time and show the, the mm. kind of family videos of it. It's like he was properly interviewed for for this documentary, and you know, and it's like so it's within the scope of whatever length it takes, the year or year and a half it takes to make a documentary. Um, and his dad just kind of continues on, and there's a bit at the end where they're at this kind of march against. Suicide and of the white, you know, kind of. Um, oh, 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 I'm just crying again. Oh, <laughs> God, the white, you know, if, if anyone's been touched by this, you know, hold up your hand. It's just like, ah, man. And I mean, I know, I understand that that's, it's done purposely to, you know, tug in your heartstrings and all that kind of. But it's that's happened. It's a thing that happened. You know, mm. it's that it's it's not that didn't it wasn't made for the documentary. You know, it wasn't set up or whatever. Um, and they're kind of in Congress, and you know. At one side saying, "Oh well, we should look at this," and then immediately it's just kind of whatever, you know. The people should be allowed. And then there's a guy brought on who created one of these tests, and he's definitely he's, he's immediately the music turns sinister. <laughs> so you know you don't like him <laughs> immediately. You know you know you're flagged into what you're meant to think about. This it, is the it? big five guy, is it? What's his name? Sourdough. He's some weird man. Oh, like no, that. And he's just kind of going, "Well, like this, this is these are all created because like, there's, there's, there's been whole." talks of racism in, in the how the tests are done and was a, a you know one of the people who did the the Myers Brig MBTI or whatever is the proper name for that test um also wrote an extremely racist novel and so you know there's just kind of a thought that the, it, it's kind of it was deliberately targeted to make uh Asians black people you know so you could um Screen them out. Screen them. That's what you have to screen them. Mm. And women, women, men and women get a different test. But um, based because women are more feely creatures than men. <laughs> Body ears and that. Um, but um, th- 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 and, and to do with the men and women thing that, the, the, you know, it's no, you could tell that this is a woman from the, the test. But I mean, you probably could tell by asking the question, are you male or female at the beginning? You know, so, <laughs> you know that, that seemed a bit weird to be in that, in that like, so do you really? Wait, no, wait, wait. So it's got to the level now where we have to ask people 50 questions to find out if they're male or female. Now, in fairness, I mean, sometimes I've seen photos where I don't know the difference. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. it doesn't really matter. No, you know, it doesn't like, matter. Whatever. It's like, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I've, I've, here's the thing. Here's the thing about the test. I did the test years ago and I'm an INFJ which is the rarest of all types and obviously the best um, which is not true <laughs> um, but there is the sense that when I found that the things that who I've been told all my life are kind of weaknesses or things I need to work on or things I need to overcome or that to find out that no that's just who I am that's yeah. the type that, there was a huge relief and empowerment in that so I can understand as the Asian person was saying that that you know that from a self development point of view these are really helpful, but if the, I was then told I can't have a job because I'm not suited due to you know answering fifty questions that are sometimes very weird um, and and to know what they're actually asking you, um, I, just, I I find that, and I also find the whole notion of some of the other tests um, the typology type things where. Um, 
people are by you know you, your uh, you know it's like an NLP thing as well the, your behaviours how you use your hands how you use your eyes all of this kind of stuff is again putting you into a box of this is the type of person you are and this is the type of thing to expect and we love putting things in boxes we love putting names on things we love kind of categorising pigeonholing people as if to discount it it's a way of discounting things you know yeah. like we don't have to worry about it anymore and it's a huge huge dehumanising thing that we do to each other yeah. I think and, yeah, and it me makes too. me feel super icky that you, you know that you can judge a person in that way because uh, as Jordan Peterson says all the time it's a bit more complicated than that you know <laughs> it's a bit more to it than that no but okay Tommy Tommy yeah. even if it isn't a bit more complicated yeah even if that. it isn't yeah choose my words wisely not to annoy, <laughs> not to annoy people well, I got the, the for me, sponge for me, for me, for, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, look, for me, this comes down to uh, trying to wrestle a bit of control out with the chaos. Yeah. And so, someone say you're at a party and you say something, and then you know Karen with her crystals is like, "Oh, you're a Virgo, aren't you?" Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. For me, I've always seen that as the, shut the fuck up, woman. Yeah. You were tr- you were putting your control over me. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. That mm. is not cool. I don't appreciate that. And then she says, oh, "You're such a Virgo." <laughs> I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely know what you mean. Yeah. And I, like, but it's the same. It's the same now with with this with the Briggs Meyer thing with the Big Five with this other any of those things. I'm just like, no, stay out of my shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who are you to put labels on me? Yeah. You know, I, 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 if I want to do that, I do it myself. Yeah, you know? that's it. That's it. Self, self. Thing. And 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 I have to want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But I think nah. you're right that it's 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 essentially a, a slightly mm, possible no pseudo scientific uh, astrology. Like it's exactly not in the in the how it's worked out, but the same categorizing principle and putting people like that. You're mm. a typical Leo or whatever. I think it's fine, you know. Be be Leo. I am a Leo, and but I you have know to what? Do you know what? Do you know what? It comes back. It comes back to the like your man's documentary last week, the McGilchrist one. Yeah. And this is exactly. This is exactly one of the symptoms he was talking about was going to happen. And and it's funny that that it didn't come up in his documentary at all. And it's that when we over logicify something, we end up fucking restraining it, killing yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what's happening with these things, man. Mm. Do you know that's exactly I was just watching this going like bing 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 this is exactly what he was saying uh, in last week's documentary when you put too many rules and it's like oh what did you say last week was, was the, the thing you said from it when um, you know you have to put rules on well, what was it you have to police free speech kind of thing oh yeah but yeah yeah, yeah you have you know? to yeah, you have to make laws around and, freedom and this know, is it ha- like, yeah. like, like when, when, when you have so many things that are sitting into these little boxes of data then you just stick these rules on it and say that's it. That that's you. You make it have to fit into that, into that, into that, into that, and that'll do that, and that'll do that, and that'll do that, and that'll. Do that, and, that'll do that. and it's like, I think the world has got to where it was in a fairly good way. Mostly, most mm. people are pretty decent, but when we start doing this kind of stuff. Then you're um, uh, you're just casting off lots of people who surely have plenty to um, contribute to the world and make the world a better place as well. And not even that, like we know from evolution that diversity is key, and like by by constantly putting the same element into the same type of job, the same thing, it has to have an effect. If it's true, if it's even true that you can do that on creativity, on new ideas, on new understandings, like you need a, you need the chaos within it for new for expansion for new type of things. So it's yeah. not. A, I don't even think from a purely business point of view, if you want to look at it that way, it's even a good idea. Apart from the whole yeah. kind of evil. But here's the thing: if next week we find out how to change people genetically from babies into being the more desirable types. We're fucked <laughs> because we'll do it, and that's you know. Then what? 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 What, what do you end up well, into? Like, would we do? Oh, I mean, uh, no, I, I, Gattaca was the I name of the film, by the way, that I couldn't remember. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, d- I don't know if we would do that. I think it, I think if it came down to like, okay, we, the designer baby stuff is fucking weird anyway for a start, but 
like if it's if it's a thing okay look we can genetically modify your baby so it's never going to have cancer yeah okay yeah I'm taking yeah. that do you know but if we can turn like, an INFJ into I don't know what the the other the good one is whatever but the, the, the reason why I say this is because we yeah. we've, we've evidence of people doing this already in yeah. like in China with the one baby thing you have so you know you bought all the, the females or you have you know the horror stories of often just full of females so that is something that it, people have a, a thing to do and it's out of like going I can't you know, I want my child to have the best thing going forward and life and all that kind of stuff. But I find it icky and scary. And the whole kind of designer baby thing, I can't, I, I can see it happening. And I don't think it's going to be, it, it'll start maybe with let's get rid of cancer. Let's, you know, like get rid of, you know, bad yeah, eyesight. Yeah, what's going to happen then? Like you're just going to have what? Every kid's going to be a fucking, what are they called in America? Ivy Leaguers. Well, no, but only the rich, Ox, only the rich Ox, people Ox will be able to be able to do this. So then you're going to massively widen the class. Uh-huh, I see. That, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it, look, it's the age-old answer. Then let's let's fucking kill the rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. I, don't, I don't know. Let's maybe tax them first. Let, let's see how that goes. <laughs> just 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 try that for a while and see how that goes. But it's like, well, the whole thing yeah, well, where, where it is like the great saying I heard is that so when people say things like this go, so what you want to do is abolish the first class on saying like a train. He goes, no, I want everyone in the first class. It's to abolish yeah, the first, second first, and the third like class. Lenin, Lenin and the champagne. Yeah, yeah. I want everyone to, to drive a, a, a Rolls Royce and drink champagne. So do I, Mr. Yeah. Lenin. But you killed a lot of people, so you're yeah. not a hero. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. He also had 16 yeah. Rolls Royces and a lot of champagne, so <laughs> yeah. people had no food. No, like, I, I see this with, with, with my young lad, because he's very similar to me. A little bit different, but quite similar. And I know, like, I had a hard time in school because um, I just have, uh, I just question authority. I can't have authority. I just mm. can't. I am my own authority, and that's it. It's, it's you know? really spot. I, I haven't noticed that about you. <laughs> <laughs> no. you know? It's not something so, I would recognise in you. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. Like I'm, like I'm so bad that like when someone says to me, "Oh, you should watch this. I think you'll like it." I probably won't like it just because they've put that on me. <laughs> I, am, I, I am, I understand that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you were like that too, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know? Um, because because I'm you don't know me. That. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. That you take the words out of my mouth, man. Is it? Because I'm petrified that uh, uh, people might know me better than I know myself. Yeah. You know, and and. I think we all should all kind of be scared of that just a little bit because we well, don't because really it's know probably, ourselves. Yeah, because it's probably true in some ways. Do you know, yeah. we yeah. don't know ourselves. We, we all we play all these different roles in the different lives that we have. Do you know, we're different with our wives than we are with our mothers, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we're different with our kids than we are with our cousins. We're different but, in our but work then who, than we who, are in what our... What happens then is we, we, we um, externalise truth or what's real mm-hmm. or in that, that I... I'm only a generous person if other people say I am. Yeah. And that's not fun. And that's something I yeah. definitely do. I've, 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 I, I, I acquiesce to authority, even if I don't believe them, in that their truth becomes more real in the world. Because, you know, authority in many ways does equal truth. And I, I mean authority in the sense of, um, say, social standing or control. It can happen through, you know, merit or it can happen through anger. Um, it's like that kind of thing of when you're a kid... And your parents say something, you know it's not true, they know it's not true, but because they say it, it's the truth in the family, this is what's going to happen. And you can kind of see that happening then on a wider scale with the government and that, uh, or whatever, that there's, you know, a kind of authority is truth. But that's just, you're saying that the, the, the notion of um, someone else knowing you better than you are, with the caveat that you should always be the arbiter of truth about yourself. Ultimately, mm. take on board what other people say, have a look at the personality test, see if you learn anything from it. But, don't allow someone else to tell you who you are. I think it's yeah. important. Like, I mean, there's obviously bits of things where you have to take feedback and you have to take criticism and all of that. I'm not talking about that. It's like that. I don't know how to explain it better than be the, be the only. It's a thing I can't do. I, and I'm working on it. It's a huge kind of thing with me at the minute is trying to believe myself and be not believe myself. I do believe myself. Allow myself, my truth to be as valid as someone else's truth. And it's. I don't know. That, there was a trigger with this documentary around that because I felt like this is another way someone else can tell me my, you know, what I am, whether I yeah. and I, I have to believe it because science, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. It's not even it's science. Not, it's not science, like you know. It's mm. based on. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's just... Uh. Look, I, I, the same as you, when I did my... I did it years ago, but I also did it like two years ago. And 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 and, and, and on that nice website with the graphics and you look yeah, like yeah, a hero. Yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 the Mine came up as as, a, cartoons. as wizard. I mean, come on. It's like, what more no, did I want? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like, okay, obviously I do fit into that category and that's what I am. But like, problem with them is that they... They they spin your bad aspects, you know, and they yeah. try and spin them into good things. Oh, you're independent. Uh, mm. No, I'm a loner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's the way yeah. I'd see it. Well, I'm not a loner. It's just I, 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 um, how to say, I'm I'm not good with working in offices. I'm not okay. Yeah. I'm very good at working on my own. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, that's independent, but it's also a lone wolf. You know, a lone yeah, wolf yeah. sounds cooler. Yeah. You know, unless you're an American white, but could be deemed anti-social. Shooter. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But in, yeah. in 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 one of those tests, it could be seen as anti-social. You're independent. You see yourself. Yeah. Not and as so therefore it. you wouldn't get a job, class job as a journalist in a in a in a newsroom because of that. Even though you could be really good journalist. Well, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, look, I, I I don't like. I mean, I, I, I you were saying like. Or you were asking you know, yesterday, I wonder how, how bad it is in Ireland with these tests. Yeah. And I just didn't put two and two together. And I think about half an hour later, I wrote to you, I was like, yeah, I've, I've applied for jobs where I've had to do these things and heard nothing yeah. back. But I always put it down to like, oh, my CV wasn't good enough. It, yeah, I never yeah, yeah, put yeah. two and two together that it yeah. was because I did shit on their fucking uh, questionnaire thing. Because I always thought <laughs> the last proper job I had in an office, we were asked to do one of these one time. And I... Uh, <laughs> your man beside me we were doing it together and he and he just picked the first option on all of them <laughs> right right yeah. and I picked and I picked the third one which is neither disagree nor disagree or I'm neutral yeah yeah all of them do you know and uh, we didn't last too much longer in that <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine <laughs> which is hilarious a bunch of I won't say that word um, and like it's uh, I don't know look yeah, use these things if 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 you're not. I think the Isabel Myers. I think she did have her heart in the right place, setting out to do them. I, I don't. Even though the journalist in this says that she was a racist, I don't think she was a racist because the book with the racist is actually about um the detective trying to figure out why they're killing each other and yeah. the. the, the why, why they're killing themselves this is the plot of the book and they're killing themselves because of something racist that's mm. 100% sure but like but the book's from the perspective of the detective it's not from the perspective of mm. the of yeah. the of the of, of the well, no, again it's, it's like a book you'd have to read to know if it's racist or not yeah. because you know because so you know. And, and as well like you know there's there's there's, there's um, audio of her saying that like this isn't this isn't what she wants like she wants it to be like a Joseph Campbell thing of to help people find the thing that they will get the most happiest and happiness out of. Follow yeah. your bliss, yeah. Joe Campbell thing. That, I mean, that's you, you can only be that you can only that can only be commendable and fair yeah, play to yeah. her for trying to do that. But it, the problem is, is that you know rich white men have gotten a hold of this and now they're using her methodologies to like even your man. Your man comes on from her company is like, you yeah, know, these these shouldn't be used for hiring people. Yeah, like, they just yeah. shouldn't. Like th- yeah. that's. So they so 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 okay. So what what can we do then? What can me and you do, Tommy, or anyone that's listening to this? Is like, it, I'm, like I'm honestly asking the question here. Yeah. Fucking get get in touch with us on Discord or whatever. Do you know? Uh, you can write, you can even write me a letter. Spud, the Irish guy, Poland. Poland. You can probably <laughs> find me. Do you know? Eventually. You can put session if 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 you know how to spell it. Do you know? Um, how the fuck do you spell Cheshire in like an English way? Che, che, C H, uh, uh, isn't a letter. Anyway, um, no, but like, but really, like, like, can you can you protest against the companies who are doing this? Because like, okay, let's protest to get my against McDonald's. I'm never going to work for you. I was not going to fucking work for them, cunts, any. Or uh, I'm never going to work for those <laughs> oh, no, those, those people anyway. <laughs> uh, sorry, you slipped out, right. man. That's I was okay. never going to work. Well, I was never going to work for them horrible people anyway. You know, and like. I don't know. Like, 
Oh, because I just oh, I was watching it and I just felt so bloody powerless mm. and just like this is disgusting this is going to happen to our kids this is happening to people now who are applying for these you know low level job like I presume if you wanted to say uh, do you know when you come out of college and you have to take a crappy job like I don't know rent a car or something mm. in an airport I guarantee you you have to pass one of these to get a crappy job like that yeah. whereas like in my day I'm so old but like it's not that long ago where I could just walk into a pub with a CV and if the manager was there I could get, get a, job a job and I could be work I could be working that evening you know what yeah. I mean yeah yeah like what, what? Uh, how like has this happened this has just happened while we've been asleep at the wheel kind of thing but like is it on us to change it I don't know if it is on us I want to change it yeah is there anything I can do that helps to change it yeah I don't know yeah I don't know you know Help. I don't know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think as a documentary, it's quite good. It doesn't go far enough. It's it's slanted towards the. It doesn't. It needs more dissenting voices about the actual tests themselves rather than the use of the tests. I think there could be definitely more in it. Um, but yeah, I definitely think you should watch it. It's a. Uh, it's quite annoying quite quite it doesn't make you angry if it doesn't make you angry then you're not human (laughs) you know something wrong with you if this doesn't piss you off and if people want to know more about typology because there's there's loads of other things um, there's a a whole there's a channel in Discord which is very active um, and there's more than just these two tests the Mayor's Brig and the Big Five there's another one called CT which I don't really know much about I I don't understand it I'm not going to pretend I do Bira uh, tries to explain it to me and I just I can't get it I don't like it but like she points in the right direction if you, if you want to get into it like, I do think there's validity in these things um, to a level that's the, the most I can go and I did find that very helpful to recognise myself in a test previously so I do feel yeah. there's a utility in it and but it that, helped that's, me that's what, the, that's what these were made for they were yeah. made to help people person, personality wise they weren't made for jobs but now I do, and I also don't like the idea that you can't change I did that, that's something I just don't like because like yeah. that, if this is the test if that's who you are that's who you are forever like the big five on Peterson definitely I have heard him saying this do, you know do it once because you're not you know that's who you are and I'm going mm, I don't know I don't know if that's true maybe true I don't like it <laughs> that's, which doesn't mean anything you know personal opinion about it but uh, I don't know I, I, I like I Come back to the Coranzon stuff the last couple of days. This part, like, I've really over the last while, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed by everything. And um, this certainly deflated me a little bit more than I probably needed. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I can even tell, like, I mean, and the two of us are hunched over here talking about it. Like, it's like, it's like our body, or like, if someone was trying to type us from our body language right now, it would be, they're, they're, they're very, um, very uh, lethargic people. <laughs> no happiness yeah, in them. A, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's a good watch. Tough watch, but it's, uh, actually, look, I think I've said enough on it. Yeah. By now, I think. I don't think I got too ranty and ravey. I said a bad word, and I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's um, all right. I'm, I doubt YouTube are going to go through it if they do. Good luck. Um, there was something. I forgot my notes. Yeah, I was walking out, walking around down the street the other day with Aga, right? And mm. she says to me, um, uh, we got talking about... Uh, so say, say, you, say you, you, you went down to the shops there. <coughs> excuse me pre-COVID time so people don't have the masks on you know mm. you leave your front door walk down walk down the street to the shop and you see this you know right of a man okay. like a really handsome man to non-Irish people <laughs> that means uh, good looking <laughs> a ride it's yeah good like looking. really good looking you know yeah. like um, Thor that actor is he good looking <laughs> I have no idea yeah let's go with that. I, don't, I don't know what the stand my, my kind Clooney. of one is um, Brad Pitt and Johnny Depp but like they're, yeah, but they're 70 old, year old like. men now, so I have no idea that, but that's yeah, who so I was whatever considered modern, whatever the yeah. modern Johnny Depp is you know yeah. fucking good looking man <laughs> so Aga told me that when she sees like a really hot girl what her thought process is that if I was a man I'd fuck her right, right? Mm. <laughs> however <laughs> And 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 I want your opinion on this. Of like, I'd like to know what the way you think about it. 
Nice. Because when I see a ride of a man, I think, yeah, I wouldn't mind him coming on my on my chin. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think we've typed you as gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm messing. No, but no, but like I'd, I'd be like, oh yeah, I, 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 I do him, or I'd let him do me. I do it in a gay way. But right, she right, does right, it right. in like she becomes a man to have sex with the woman. Right. Whereas um, I'm just like every hole's a goal. <laughs> are, are you bisexual? Like, I hope not. <laughs> what? Are you like, you, you could now, be having an awful lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a wife and two kids. Yeah. <laughs> I know it doesn't stop an awful lot of people. In fairness, um, no, I, I have a thing that I, um, I can sometimes re- I, I can recognise good looking. I can't recognise sexy. I, I, I just can't because I'd be asking Flesa, "Is he good looking or is he sexy?" And she goes, "No, what's wrong with you?" Uh, and so I, <laughs> <laughs> so I can't, I can't, I can't. I've um, the closest I've ever had to a kind of a, an attraction to a, a man is to Tom Hardy's voice. It does weird things to me. That's it. It's, uh, that's the best <laughs> I can weird. do. Yeah, it just it makes me it makes me uh, feel feelings that I don't understand. And, uh, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but uh, no, I, de- I definitely don't uh, um, have visions of him coming on my chin or anything like that. <laughs> so. I know, I, I, I was saying that to Mace, but I, I, like, yeah, I just, I just thought everyone did that. I was like, there's a good looking man. I, yeah, I'd, I'd give him one. Yeah. I thought that everyone did that. And she's yeah. like, no. Okay, that's so like you that, don't and she doesn't. Yeah, huh. but that's like the other day okay. when we, I was doing that test that you sent me and I've got everyone thinks like that and you go, I don't think like that. I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely <laughs> yeah, don't. It's like, yeah, I, yeah. I just assumed everyone was, felt like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so strange. Like, we, we, we definitely make the world in our own image. Like, it, there's no question of that. Like, you know, it's like, it's a... Uh, which course, is, I suppose, like, the utility of the tests like these. That, 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 that'll bring us back to the secret, though. But like, like, I, you know, over the last couple of months or whatever I have kind of solidified the idea in my head that the world is a reflection yeah what, you know what 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 you put into it you'll get out of it you know so but yeah I think I don't know what's that old um, expression of wherever you go there you are you know that that's, yeah. that's it yeah yeah so yeah but in a good way so like mm. you know try and well, you know, if you're in a bad mood in a fucking shop and you're queuing up or whatever, just be like, you know what? Sorry, right. I have loads of food. I'm going to eat tonight. Grand. No, yeah. you know, just try and just catch yourself. And well, I think that that's the benefit, I suppose, of doing some a, a kind of mindfulness meditation is that you catch yourself doing those things easier, or at least yeah. you catch yourself indulging in it. <laughs> and you know, and you're aware I'm I'm kind of enjoying this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying. Oh this yeah, kind yeah, of, yeah. Oh, look, it's okay to indulge in it as well. Just be like, you know, I'm, I'm going fucking Columbine on this whole fucking shop right now. <laughs> oh, <in> my... <laughs> oh, Spud. You're, you're a fun guy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>